think so, Brother Frazier said that. Yeah. Paul, Paul Felder, he said, he would say uh, he's a pastor of the Church of Jerseyville, wasn't he? Yes, Jerseyville. And he'd get up and he'd say, I can't preach, I can't teach, but I can sure holler. That's what I feel like doing tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't to, I, I wanted to say this. Uh, I don't want to say a lot because I know time's getting away. And I don't want you to throw rotten tomatoes at me, so I'm going to keep it short. But uh, I wanted to say that Sunday morning, uh, Brother Marlon was there in Sebring. And I heard the best lesson I've heard in several years. And he blessed us. The church is totally blessed. Everyone's still talking about the message. Because it was right from his heart. You could tell it was, uh, it was uh, spontaneously given by the Holy Ghost. And uh, I just felt that uh, it wasn't a shout. We didn't shout. We just... Uh, took the Bibles out. That's what we do in Sebring. Everyone carries a Bible, a notebook, and a pen. And uh, we took our pencils out, notebooks, and we started taking notes. Because I feel like the Lord is saying to the ministry, feed my sheep. Oh, yes. Amen. I want to be fed Amen. with the Holy Spirit of God, yes. anointing a man of God. Oh, yes. yes. Only men of old spake as they were what? Moved by the Holy Ghost. So I don't, uh, I don't know if I can sing, but I'm going to try. I think I sing in the key of C, or maybe it's A flat or B or C. Let's try C. One day I heard a voice. It's
absolutely nothing. 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 Oh, hallelujah. There's power in this place. Power in this place. Strength in this place. Oh, hallelujah. His blessed everything that I say in church. Amen. Because there's enough negativism on the outside. But it's time that we become positive. Because we have the greatest source of power on this earth, and that's Jesus Christ. We have a man that fought the battle before us. That was crucified on a cross. He dwelled here on this earth and faced every obstacle. He was tempted on every part like we are. He went through every struggle. Everything that he went through. Everything that you might th think you're going through and you're by yourself. You're not by yourself. You're never by yourself. Because it's Christ in you, the hope of glory, that's going to take you on to the other side. It isn't going to be everything that's wrong with me. No. I can give you a list as long as my arm Come on, of what's wrong with me. Oh yes. But you know what? what you I mean? have found out that there's a lot more right with me right. since I started walking with you. Yeah. I found out that there is, there is an overcoming life. There is a positive side to serving Christ. Even though the wages of sin is death, but I've got the gift of God, which is eternal life, dwelling in my heart. And a man that doesn't have the Spirit of God, he's lost. He's dead. Yes, sir. Amen. But one that has the Spirit of God, he's alive, he's alive in Christ yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I'm not here going to tell you that I've got this illness and I've got that no, illness no. and I've got that illness. No. But ever since they told me I was going to die, I went on a diet. I started walking again. Yeah. I've lost 15 pounds so far. Yeah. And I feel strength in my body that I haven't felt in several weeks. Because there's power in the Holy Ghost. Power. But the most important part is power. that I feel strength Come on, in my spirit. I feel that Holy Ghost spirit. I feel that power from on high. I feel that strength from God. What else is there to talk about? Can we talk about the negative one more time? No, I do not want to talk about the negative. I want to talk about that the Lord has a place prepared for me. And if this house does fail, I have another house not made with him, eternal in the heavens. The church does not need to back up. We don't need to dwell in confusion. We don't need to be defeated. All we have to do is go to the strong tower and let the name of the Lord give us strength. And that's what this place is. It's a strong tower where we can get strength from the power of the living God. Oh, it's so good to serve God. It's so good to be a child of God. It's so good to stand up and say glory to the living name of Jesus Christ. Because all power is in him. Hallelujah. Jesus, when he ascended up into the heaven, he wasn't negative. He didn't say, all right, you guys, I'll leave it in your hands now. And you've got the struggles now with the church. You've got everything to deal with. No, he did not. No, he did not. In the 16th chapter, John, he had to tell them, 
He told them previously in the 16th chapter, it's expedient that I go away. Because if I do not go away, the Holy Ghost won't come. The Comforter. It will not come. Then he said in that in, in first chapter of Acts 8 verse, he said, after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. Somebody said that's just to be witnesses and be able to have power to go ahead and tell, talk to people about Christ and to talk about people about Christ. You, can, you know what? Talking to people is not really giving them a strong witness, but living it yes. is, the, is oh, living. No. That living is demonstrating the power of the living God right. in your life right. and in the in the uh, spectrum of your spirit. Amen. So God gave us power. Amen. Yes. God gave us power. Oh, yes, There's nothing that devil can throw against us that we cannot have power over. Amen. We have power. Yes. Too much defeat is talked about. Let's talk about conquering. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's not talk about being in the wilderness. Talk about coming out of the wilderness. Praise the name of God. can conquer the land, we've got to come out of the wilderness. Yes, we've got to take the experiences we received while we were in the wilderness, all the heartaches, all the, 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 the experiences that we had. I, I talked to the church Sunday and I said to them, I said, you know what? It's time that we learn how to let Christ help us fight our battles. Instead of fighting them by ourselves, Christ in you is the most powerful, 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 I said powerful, powerful, hallelujah power to help you overcome your nature, your spirit. I raise the name of the Lord. I want to see Jesus. I've been in this church since I was eight years old. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to tell you how long ago it was. Amen. But Brother Marlo was about 22 years old. Yes. He met us at the train. He likes to tell this story and, and uh, embarrass me sometimes, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to embarrass myself. He met us at the train. And I, I came to this assembly under Brother Roberts sat here, Brother Roberts uh, was ill and, and uh, saw him get healed of a heart, heart condition. He stood up right over here somewhere where the piano was the night. I remember the night he got healed and his heart was healed. Yes. And I've taken that to my heart because God only takes a person when it's time for them to go. Right. When it's time for them to go. Uh -huh. And you know what? And it's my time to go. I hope there's not a lot of crying and a lot of sorrow. Because when I go, I want to go and be with Jesus Christ. Because it is time. We'll rejoice. I've, uh, I've, I've joined Brother Dean Harris's club. Yes. We refuse to go until God tells us to go. Amen. Isn't that right, Brother D? Yes. We're going to yes. keep moving on and praising God, worshiping, coming to church and saying, praise God, we've got the victory in our hearts. How I many have got the victory here? Have you truly got the victory? Yes. Amen. And you know, it's so easy when you've been in the church for years and years and years, you become complacent. Yes, sir. And you sit. And it's hard for you to get in and, and, and worship and praise God. Because you get, you know, you, well, you've been here so many years. You've gone through it before. And you've seen this before. And you saw the exercises of this one and that one. But do you know what? Listen. Because he that hath an ear is the one that's going to hear what the Spirit's saying to the church. Amen. And God's speaking to the church right Amen. now. Amen. Amen. God has a message for this age Amen. that we're living in. Yes, and you know, I can be here for years and years and become complacent, set my seat, Amen. 
Amen. and not support the service Amen. and not get behind the service. Amen. And I can be in that state of mind. Uh -huh. And you know what? I can miss it. Yes, sir. Sir. I can lose out in what God's right. Right, trying to Amen. do Amen. to this generation. Yes, I have never felt as much victory as I feel Amen. in my heart today. Right. Amen. Oh, yeah, but the church is going through this and the church is going through that. You know what? Thank God. Amen. Because God's trying to take something out of us All right. and make us better people yes. and make us a better Christian and a better child of God. Lord, whatever I need to go through. Have you ever thought about that? Yes. Whatever, whatever I have to go through. Lord, let me go through it. Let me go through it. But most of all, Lord, go with, go with me when I go through it. Help me to stand because we're living in a glorious day. We're living in a glorious day. Okay, I'll check to you. Good night.